So here we have, I'm going to introduce this, our new product. This is the HDMI HD Base T matrix. What base, this basically does is it allows four inputs and you can switch and then two outputs. And for the outputs, you can switch between any of the four input sources. So this LED signifies which in, HDMI input is selected to display for each output. And these are also and these are the IRs, IR sensors, which allows you to control your players. So these are, I'll show you, I'll demo these in the later. Mostly what we're gonna be using is the IR out, basically from going out to the players. So here is the front, now I'm gonna show you the back side. So here's the back side. Here you see a few more ports. You see the four HDMI inputs. And then you see the output. The output on the matrix are connected to the receivers using UTP cable. In our case, we are using category 6 cables. Because this is an HD based T unit, we can transmit 4K video as well as 1080p. In our case, we are using 100 meters or roughly 328 feet. And that's what I have right here on the cables. I have two 100 meter cables, Cat 6A cables. And then additionally with our units, we have a R232 on the back right here. This R232 allows you to control the matrix itself. So if you have like a command server, you use this port to switch inputs, outputs, stuff like that. Now also additionally, we also have IR in the back, this IR here. This IR input allows you to use an IR cable to reposition or relocate the IR sensor that is to be used with the provided remote control, which is this right here, to do switching. Now I'll introduce the equipment I'll be using. So here as you see I have two TVs. Now these are 4K TVs, um, and they all have, I put HDMI cables on all of them, around 6 foot 24 gauge cables on all of them, on both of them. And additionally, on the players, I'm using two different players. I got two players here that's 4K upscaled, and two players here that's basically DVD and Blu-ray. So those are 1080, those will be 1080p, 1080i, but these will be 4K. Now, in order to use HD Base T, you need like a re receiver side. Uh, like you need like a, it's like a matching pair. One on transmission side, one's on receiver side. Our unit is a transmission, this matrix is a transmission side. So for the receiver side, we have these units here. These units we have come in three varieties, three models basically. The normal version I'm using right now, which goes up to 100 meters. So I already have these units connected from to, to the TVs. These receivers are already connected to the TV, as well as the UTP connected cable, so I won't be going into that. So for this unit right now, for the matrix, Connection-wise, it's pretty simple. So, I'm gonna turn it around, and uh, you notice it's the inputs, HDMI inputs, on connected players, which I have the HDMI cables here. I'm gonna connect them straight right now. And then, I'm gonna connect the ATP cables. And lastly, also I want to connect is the IR. I'm going to demo right now. So I want to do. I only have one IR, but you can do. It works for all four. So I'm going to show you only one version. So I'm going to show you for only one player. And lastly, power. So plug it in. You see that lights light up. And now I'm going to turn the players on. I'm going to turn the TV on first. And now I'm going to turn now the players. So here we go. When everything's on, you notice the lights coming up, meaning you see the green light right here, meaning what is selecting, what input selected for each output. So you see output two here, for example. Output two, input A, meaning we're 
on the second TV right here. Here you see it, let me actually start playing a video. Actually hit play on these real quick. So I have right now unit the actual input sources playing. So here you see they both have the same thing right now because I have both input both outputs on the same input. The main thing you want to see right now is, I want to show you right real quick, is our resolution. 4K stands for 3840 by 2160 at 24 hertz. Uh, let's say I want to switch it. So we have, three, like I said, we have three different ways of switching it. One is using the R232, which I haven't plugged in because I don't, I don't have a usage for that right now. I don't have the equipment to do that. Next is, and then we have our, then we have a remote control. Now, for the remote control, the IR sensor is in, we have two different versions, two ports. One's for the front, so like in case you're seeing it right here. You want to do it from front. Now, however, we also have a, the hole in the back, the IR port in the back. That was for to extend the IR this sensor somewhere else in case you need it. So let's say I show you right now. IR hit number the outputs. These are the, these core these numbers we to the outputs and so you hit one it cycles the input from or output one so let me change it right now let me change it to two so i mean i'm just switching random right now so actually i switched both outputs to a different input i see here and the good thing about a matrix is that these could be different these could be different screens doesn't matter so let me say do something else let me switch output 2. So, you look at it. Notice, one's playing something. One's playing this at 4K. Another one's playing another different input on different resolution. And the resolution I have for this one, for this TV, is... I didn't load, I didn't load up. 1080p. So that's what Matrix does. You can switch around different inputs for each output individual. So one, in, so one input could be 4K, 2K. Another input, another player could be 1080p. That's a good thing about Matrix. So, and then lastly, then the last way of switching it. So, the last way of switching. We allow is the actual ports on the front. You see these little black push buttons. These are more of a manual way of changing the inputs. So I push it, and you know it will change from C to D. I hit it again, D to A. And corresponding the TV changes. So that's a third way of doing it. So we have three different ways of switching the inputs, and that's how you. That's the three different ways. Now. Onto something else. Now onto the IR or something. The actual IRs, these front IRs. I told you I was gonna show you how to, to do to what it does. So let me switch all the units, all outputs to one. Now when you switch it to the same output, or you switch from the same to something different, these will flash. That's normal because it's resyncing, which is good. Now I'm going to show you the IR function that I said I'll introduce you to these front IR ports. So I have one right now plugged into the IR out. Then on the near the player, I have a sensor that's connected to this port. This is the sensor right here. I just have a metal stand. Now, normally, since this is a matrix, this transmitter unit will be near sources. That's why I have an IR out. And I have this remote close to the player. Now. For, as for the TV, I have another sensor. This is right here. That's connected to the receiver. Since these, the t receiver and TV are mostly linked together. So the point, the function of this is like this. Let's say you see me using a remote control right now. You see this thing changing right here. Let me do a real quick selection. Let me do a real quick movie. Just to show you even better. Here. So. I'm playing a movie. I hit play, it plays, I hit pause, it pauses. Okay? Now, 
let's say, but let's say your TV is not like in this setup. Your TV is somewhere else in a different room with the receiver, and you want to use the remote control for your player. So let me pretend underneath the table is the is the other room. So I hit under here. I hit play and pause. Nothing happens. That, but that's why we have the IR sensor. Let's say I put this, the IR sensor also underneath the table, like in another room, and I hit play. You see it play. I hit pause, it pauses. That's what the IR does. Hit play again, and it plays again. So, basically what this allows is that it allows you to use the room control for the player in the same room as your TV, if these are not in the same place. And that works the same with all these other, all these other inputs.